My favorite style of watches are divers, however high on that list are watches that tell time in a unique way and honestly don't look anything like wristwatches. I would love to own something along the lines of an Urwerk, MBNF, Elise Nardin, just to name a few. However, the price for those watches are out of my budget. Thankfully, the micro brand world is filled with hidden gems and today we will be looking at one, the Ulto 8 Infinity 2. This watch was sent into the channel, I get to keep it, but as always I will objectively review this watch and it is important to note that this company had zero input. This watch will be joining my growing collection of unique watches and it will sit in good company alongside the Ottawaki Thor Lite and the Sega Design Blue Planet. This Ulto 8 watch costs $599, it comes in different case finishings, comes with different strap colors and it also is offered with different numerals, Arabic or Roman. This particular model is the Ulto 8 Infinity 2 Arabic numeral skeleton black case mechanical watch. Throughout the video you will see the watch on a black and red strap. The company offers this particular model on either one of those straps. I still can't figure out what color I like the best. Let's quickly get into the specs of this watch. For starters, it is rated to 50 meters of water resistance. Not bad, but I would prefer 100 meters to ensure I can take this watch swimming. Although I don't really like getting in pools the ocean, lake, or any kind of body of water, so this should not be an issue for me. Oh wait, I'm a watch collector, of course I have to complain about the low water resistance. Okay, moving on then. This very unique case is constructed of 316L stainless steel and it's PVD coated black. The case is a rounded square with a flat brush bezel and harsh polished chamfers. The case is actually very well finished. We find a mixture of polishing and brushing throughout. The case measures in at 44 millimeters by 44 millimeters. It has 22 millimeter lugs, is 12.8 millimeters thick, and it weighs in at 124 grams. Therefore, this watch is definitely not going to be for everyone. Although on my 6 and 7 8 inch wrist at 17.43 centimeters, it actually doesn't look bad. And it's pretty comfortable, that in part thanks to the positioning of the sign push and pull crown. At first I thought the crown would have looked better at the 3 o'clock, but now I understand why the company opted for the 4 o'clock position instead. The watch features a sapphire crystal that's protecting that really big and beautiful intricate skeletonized style. Speaking of the Dow, it's clearly inspired by a car cluster, especially when the loom is in full effect, we will get to that shortly. The semi-skeletonized dial features a 180 degree hours display designed to mimic a speedometer. The hour hand is double ended so it can start again as soon as it hits 12 without the need of a retrograde complication. At the 6 o'clock there is a 0 to 20 second counter for the triple prong seconds hand. And the minutes are printed on a small chapter ring which enlarges towards the end of the dial. The minute hand has three prongs, two short ones and one elongated section that points to the minute track. In the middle of the dial we find a bridge with Geneva striping that features the brand's logo as well as a frame for the open heart display. The dial is clearly the best and most fun feature of this watch. But wait, there's more. This watch is filled with the latest Swiss Super Aluminum Loom. The loom has been applied on the numbers hands and the logo. The loom is actually very impressive and it really looks like the gauges in a car. I absolutely love this look and this was a very pleasant surprise. It really put a smile on my face. When flipping the watch over we find a screw down sapphire display case back. There's some writing along the case back and apparently this is a limited edition of 500 pieces but that information wasn't on their website. Weird. Although the dial seems extremely complex, the watch is actually powered by the tried and tested and very affordable Miyota Caliber A2S5. This movement can be found across the board of open heart watches. Fun fact, even watches costing in the thousands such as the Mad One also feature an 8000 series Miyota movement. This automatic movement features a beat rate of 21,600 vibrations per hour, a 42 hour power reserve, you can wind it, you can hack it. The company customized the rotor and in my opinion, it looks very cool. The 22mm FKM rubber strap features a quick release system and it tapers down to 19.8mm at the buckle. Now, speaking of the buckle, it's not signed, not a big deal, but it does feel like an oversight. 
on the wrist, the watch feels very comfortable, but I do have to say that most of the weight of the watch is on that watch head. So at times it feels a little top heavy. Now that we cover the overall specs of the watch, how do I feel about this watch and is it worth $599? Well, this watch is definitely not for everyone from the avant-garde appearance in that 44 millimeter case size. But if you're in the same camp of loving much more expensive watches, but don't want to spend your kid's college tuition on one, well, then this is a watch for you. The craftsmanship, design, and overall package gets a pass for me, and I would highly recommend this watch. By the way, a big shout out to Haviston Horology for sending in the service style coasters that I featured throughout the video, link in the description. Let me know what you think of this watch. Would you rock it? What do you like or dislike about it? Thank you all so much for the continued support. Take care and stay humble.